Nobody. Yeah, nobody knows what you're saying, dude. Welcome everybody, it's Turbo Terramino here, and today's a great day because we are playing The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5. The final episode in Season 2. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. I'll pray that baby and Kenny is still alive. I'm assuming Clementine's still alive because we still have to control her, but. not sound good. Oh my god, Clem. She's still alive. Where's the baby? Oh, the baby. Gotta get that baby. Gotta get that baby. We gotta get him. Come on, we have to get that baby. Cover my back. I need to get that child. What are you doing? I'm getting that baby. What are you crazy? We gotta protect Kenny. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. <laughs> Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us until he runs out of ammo. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. Nobody. English. Yeah, nobody knows what you're saying, dude. Side of the wall. I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? Just shoot over towards the woods. Yeah, okay. Good, good. I just need the distraction, okay? All right, I'm not gonna. Go! Hey, what are you? Ah! No, no! Ah. Watch out! Get out here! 
Oh, Kenny, watch out. Oh, watch out, Kenny! Nice that she came back. Oh man, she hit him right in the brainstem, that's why. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Yeah, take all their guns. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. He deserved it. He was trying to kill us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but it felt wrong. You can still leave, you know. There's nothing holding you here. I sort of wish that was true. Let's go. That sucks. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. She bled out, dude. Don't you go blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to. To protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Move out of the way, Mike. You... Clem, you, you don't mean that. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can thank you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Damn. Jenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. He's lying. We can't trust him. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. It doesn't matter why it happened. We have to move on. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. No, I guess that's right. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. We gotta keep that baby warm. We, can, can we give him, like, something else to keep the baby warm? I mean, it's, like, probably 40 degrees, 30 degrees out. I think it has to be at least uh, around, like, the mid-30s. Maybe it's 38 degrees. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong I for it to snow. I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... 
I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me, despite everything I've seen, everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. It's changing him. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. <laughs> Kenny's hit that breaking port like six times already. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. He's tougher than you think. He can handle it. I don't think that he can. You'll see. I hope you're right. Come on, slow pokes! Where? I gotta get my Pokemon Go app open. I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Is everybody okay. like... Here, just take the baby. Is everyone stupid? Uh, okay. I'm sorry, that kid just brought on a bunch of people with assault rifles. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. They're not all like that. There are good men, too. My friend Lee. He was a good man. Well, I wish I had had a chance to meet him. Me, too. I wish he was here now. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Uh, what was that about? <sighs> Dude, get some snow. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, uh, I've been better. put some snow on that. I don't know if there's enough snow to put on it without rubbing more dirt in it. But it'd help with the cool compress. How did we get here? 
What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just go. Don't go down this rabbit hole, buddy. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. We're alive because I of it. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What I miss? Hmm. Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining mostly. Luke's feeling bad about what happened. What? Really? <laughs> it's not your fault. Bad things happen, and we can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. Can we drop it? I'm fine. Sorry, don't mean to rat you out, but sometimes you gotta call attention Thanks to this. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. All right, well, someone else should hold the baby, I'll tell you that much. Go on. And I, and I don't mean to call out Luke, it's just like sometimes when you're feeling bad about it, you should bring it to someone else's attention. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it, she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice. In no, that. sir, you don't. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. I watched you cave in a man's skull. I think I'll be okay looking at your empty eye socket. Let us see it. So how's it Let me look? see. It didn't look too bad. I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Well, it looks a lot better than it did. And maybe my modeling days ain't over. Huh. All right, buddy. Oops. Don't worry. It can't be that bad. All right, Kenny. This is gonna hurt. So, I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. Don't be a baby. We already got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. All right. Uh, holy fucking hell. <sighs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. All right, let's try this again. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, does that smart. He can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. Huh. Yeah, that shouldn't have been the case. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here. 
Raising this boy, it should be him. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. That's, Make sure he's safe. That's right. I intend to. Doesn't look too bad. He just looks like a sea captain now, well but... Done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. It's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> Wouldn't have guessed that it work. Me neither. I think he likes you. I'm good with babies. Calmed right down for you. Take it. <laughs> that's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> I'm surprised they had an option where it just said take it for the child. Like, are they going to be... Are they going to be... Have your Clementine character be that rude to a child? But uh, we're going to go ahead and leave it here, guys. Um, now it seems like we have a place to stay for the night, but we're still looking for that house that Arvo says has food and supplies because we do have an infant child. We gotta find some place for them to rest. So, tune in next time. Hopefully we get closer to that place. I'm sure we get some more exposition, as always, and I'm sure something bad will also happen. Thank you so much for watching, and tune in next time. <laughs>